my name is Derek Fahey, a trademark and a patent attorney with the Plus IP firm. And this is gonna be a brief video on trade dress, what it is and things to consider about trade dress and your brand potentially. So quick intro about myself. I've been a, I'm a registered patent attorney and a trademark attorney. I practice exclusively with intellectual property law and let's get right into it. So trade dress, what is it? Well, trade dress is the look or feel of product packaging. One condition about trade dress is that the look or feel of the product packaging has to allow the consumer to identify the particular good or product with the source of the good. So the trade dress has to you know, be distinctive or has to have acquired distinctiveness enough to allow the consumer to identify the particular good or service with the source of the good. So I actually have some examples here. And um, so one good example is, is the you know, Jack Daniels bottle, the shape of the bottle, the look and feel of the bottle. That's what trade dress is. That's product packaging. I actually have some examples here. So you can see here, I'll hold up to the screen. The first one that you can see is potentially over here is the green jacket, right? So that's a green jacket that allows, if you play golf, you may know that the green jacket is, is synonymous almost with the masters. So the green jacket associated with golf or entertainment type services is the trade dress for, for the mask. Another one that's kind of fun too is, is this is actually for product design. That's um, the Christian Louboutin red bottom shoes. We've all seen that. That's trade dress for the actual um, product design. Another fun one we're gonna talk about, and maybe you can see this over here, the Coca-Cola bottle. The hourglass shape of the Coca-Cola bottle is trade dress for the product packaging. That shape is protected. You can't actually use that. So a few things to consider. So product packaging and product design are actually treated differently with trade dress. They have different rules. So for example, product packaging can actually be considered inherently distinctive. If you have a really funky bottle that's super different that people use to identify your product, that particular bottle could be used or could be considered trade dressed because the bottle is so distinctive that it can be seen to be distinctive enough so that consumers could identify the particular good or product with the source of the good, okay? However, unlike product packaging, trade dress for product design can never be inherently distinctive. So the red bottom shoes, the jacket, okay? Um, another good one I actually have here is the Jeep grill, okay? You can see it over here. Maybe it's very faint, but that's the registration for the Jeep grill. The shape of the Jeep grill cannot, could never be considered inherently distinctive because it's a product design. So what does that mean? So to acquire distinctiveness, you can actually, uh, you can show uh, that it's acquired distinctive through marketing efforts, through the amount of money spent, to sh uh, reviews, ways that you can do use that, the amount of time you use the product or the product design, that can be used as evidence to show that the product has acquired distinctiveness in the consumer's mind. Essentially, you wanna be able to show that when people see this particular design, they think immediately of you and your product, okay? That's important when you're filing a trademark application for trade dress, that's the, that's the second thing. Now, let's talk about some issues that we typically see. Well, one of the issues is that how if you have a product design and you, if you haven't been using it for a long period of time, you're not gonna be able to register it immediately. So what people can do is they can file design patent applications on the product design, which protect the particular design of the product for uh, 15 years in the case of the United States. And then that locks out the competition for the product design for 15 years. Then it can acquire distinctiveness over a period of time. And then we can file a trademark application to protect the trade dress. Trademarks and patents are very different, but that's one way we can use to protect the product design before uh, it's being used and then while it's acquiring uh, distinctiveness, okay? Another thing that you we typically have issues with is functional features. If something is functional, you cannot register as trade dress if it's, if it's clearly the most significant part of the function. For example, 
Well, you may be asking yourself, well, a bottle is it's functional, right? You have functional features of it, it holds the fluid, the shape of it actually has, you know, it allows it to, um, it's to the shape of it allows it to hold the water or the, the fluid. Well, in the case of a bottle, if it's not the main focus of the actual design, then that should be fine. If the main focus of the design is a functional feature, that is an issue and you're not gonna be able to get trade dress because under the law, functionality requires rejections for trade dress. So if it's purely functional, whether it's a product design or product packaging, you're not gonna be able to get a trade dress uh, registration for it. So what do you look like? What do you look at? If you, someone has filed the utility patent on the functional feature of that product design or product packaging, they're not gonna be able to get that feature protected with trade dress. You'll have to protect it some other way. Hopefully you found that video interesting on trade dress. Remember product packaging and product design that is the look and feel of the product packaging and product design that allows consumers to identify a particular good or product with the source of the good product. I hope you found this video interesting. Please send me some questions. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help. My email address is Derek at plusfirm.com, D-E-R-E-K at plusfirm.com. You can also find us online. My Instagram handle is Derek Fehe, P-A. That's D-E-R-E-K-F-A-H-E-Y-P-A. If you have any questions about trade dress, about registration of trade dress, let me know. It's a, such a fun and unique thing and way to protect your brand and to distinguish yourself from others. I'd love to help you. Think about me the next time you are working with uh, your trade dress and we can help you. Have a great day and thanks for watching.